is unquestionably the best one litre little car of them all. No doubt about it. And the engine in this. Yeah. It is phenomenal. 125 horsepower from one litre. I know. And 65 miles I, to the gallon. I, I, Honestly. Why I'm are not... you saying these things and why then aren't you in one? Why are you in that VW? It's the up exclamation mark. This, well, I brought this because I like it. Well, hang on, you've just. No, said... I like it. This is brilliant, <laughs> but I like this. Let me put it to you this way, Hammond. You can buy better dogs than my West Highland Terrier. But I like my West Highland Terrier. Yes, it bites the postman and it lays dog eggs all over the kitchen and it steals food, but it's brilliant. And it goes, ah, ah. if this had ears, it'd go like ah. that. Sadly, at this point, my dog impersonation was interrupted by the arrival of Captain Interesting. It's the most boring looking car. What is it? I'm nodding off. Good news. What? It's a Dacia Sandero. Is it? Yes. Anyway, I, we were just saying before you got here, this is just an epic little car. It's quite expensive though, isn't it? I well, think. I mean... How much is it? Seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half thousand pounds? Yep. And how much is yours? Seven and a half. That's a there big price, a Gulf Hammond. That's a massive it, it price. Is, I can afford to lose this and just go and buy another one and I'm still better off than you. Look at it, it's true. It looks great, it's anti-fashion, it's a car for people with more sense than money. It works, you can, it's cheap. Wow, you, how have they done it so cheap? And you can't work it out, can you? There's no it's obvious. That steering wheel, what a quality item. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> the same as yours. It is the same shape. And correct me if I'm wrong, it was a Renault Clio 30 years ago. Not 30 years ago, it's based on the underpinnings and mechanicals of the old Renault Clio. An old but car. It's an, it's an old, old car. car. Basically, I've brought an iPod to a gramophone convention. Utter rubbish. Uh, look at it. It's Our argument was then interrupted by the arrival of a challenge. They still don't believe that we like small cars, but we do. Oh, I'd love my Fiesta. Right. Between Yalta and Sevastopol, there is an excellent coast road which you would enjoy very much in a normal car, but you will not be able to enjoy it in your miserable little shopping cart. Hello. can't get away from the fact the Fiesta, in any guise, is a brilliant little car. The chassis is so sorted out. I've driven the ST version, the hot one, and it's simply superb. What's incredible is that they haven't lost any